But first, let's uh, begin by talking about the story we've been tracking now for a couple of weeks, uh, the emergence of uh, the coronavirus uh, in China and how that has been spreading around the world and indeed within the country. Our China media analyst, Kerry Allen, as ever, is back at the desk. Hi, Kerry. Good to have you. To uh, bring us up to speed with the latest, we know that at least 81 people have been killed by now. And Kerry, I know that as part of your work, you monitor the media, what's being reported on it, social media as well. Uh, but have you been able to speak to people in China with the rising numbers? Is there a sense of panic or a sense of uh, satisfaction with what the government is doing now? I'd say both, really. I mean, I had chance over the weekend to talk to a lot of my friends. I mean, Shanghai, uh, we've had a report of a death there and, uh, and and a lot of new lines on this today that Shanghai, is susp- all of its companies are suspending businesses for two weeks and schools are closed for three weeks. Obviously, there's an implication of that, that not only children can't go to school, primary schools, nurseries, etc., but also their parents, you know, they may have to stay off work. Um, and I used to be a teacher in Shanghai so I caught up with some of my friends who are teachers Um, some of them very nervous Um, I've had one of my friends asking if I can send a a package of face masks because it's so hard to get them online um, because they're just selling out throughout the country people are just taking extra precautions and buying face masks Others are enjoying the fact that um, the Spring Festival holiday has been extended by another week. So, you know, they've been saying it's quite nice to get to spend time with their with their children. Um, but, um, yeah, it, a lot of confusion as to what's going on. And uh, and obviously some people online on Sina Weibo have been expressing concern about not being able to get back to work. But, um, but the government has factored this in now. And say, for example, people who want to pay their mortgage or their rent, um, banks have said that, um, that they can actually have conversations and claim compensation in the meantime because of this. And we've also been hearing that now a case has been reported in Beijing, I think in the past hour or so. Uh, What what is the latest on what the government is doing? Well, one of the big signals that was sent out over the weekend is just how much of a priority the government is is treating this. I mean, all over social media today and official media, Li Keqiang, the premier, and he's second in command after President Xi Jinping. Um, he's actually now physically in Wuhan. Um, so he's been visiting the site where hospital, two big hospitals are being built within seven days that should bring in a thousand extra beds. He's been speaking to, um, to people via video link who are... Uh, in these quarantine facilities um, and uh, and lots of footage of him saying, you know, we can do this together and really motivating people who were there within Wuhan, where, where this all started um, what, and one of the cities that's in lockdown. But of course, it's spreading quite fast now and one of the hashtags being used is the latest epidemic map. W- what is that about? Yeah, so I've been seeing every single day. I mean, the government has been trying to stress that it's giving as much transparency as possible. So every day when I'm coming in and I'm looking through social media feeds and reading newspapers, I'm seeing an updated map of China and how many suspected cases, how many confirmed cases, how many deaths, how many how many cases have been cured, have been updated. And uh, thousands of people have been clicking on this. Um, the ones that I saw earlier today, um, yeah, 81 fatalities, 51 patients cured and discharged. 461 severe cases now that's concerning that means that we could be hearing in the coming days of, of more deaths I mean we're, we're already at now at um, yeah 81 so I think we're going to be entering the hundreds pretty soon um, and um, nearly 3,000 confirmed cases so you know these are these are going up all the time Kerry Allen our China media analyst thank you for bringing us the latest